from the subreddit Unpopular Opinion. Fake diamonds are a smart choice for engagement rings. I bought my now wife a diamond engagement ring a few years ago. It's a pretty standard, decent quality diamond which set me back thousands of dollars. I bought a loose moissanite stone of the same size for literally $75 just for fun. As an untrained person, I couldn't tell the different side by side. I took this thing to a jeweler. He was able to identify it as a moissanite, but he had to use a special device and this eyepiece. If a jeweler needed to look at this thing with specialized equipment to identify it correctly, there's almost zero chance that a regular person could tell the difference when it's on someone's finger from an average distance. People are simply not going to pull your hand up to their face to closely examine your ring, and they are definitely not going to have specialized tools just in their pocket. If you're about to get engaged, save yourselves the money and just get a fake stone. While I agree with the overall sentiment, I think it's a bit unfair to label moissanite as a fake diamond. It's just a different stone. They refract more light than diamonds, so plenty of people choose them for that reason alone. Yeah, I talked to my intended partner some months before and knew they would prefer a larger stone that wouldn't cost us nearly as much. We already had shared economy so it made sense to discuss what could have been a massive purchase for us. I bought my ex a shitty little fake pendant for $10 that had a logo from a game we played. She told me it was one of the most sincere gifts she'd ever received in any relationship. When the chain broke, I went to a jeweler and bought a $200 gold replacement chain. And she said oh thanks. I'm glad I can wear the pendant again. The emotion of the gift should mean more than the actual cost, I guess is the point I'm trying to get across. If you want a real diamond, buy a lab-grown one. They are just as real, cheaper, purer, and aren't covered in the blood of child slaves. I'm fully on your side that De Beers shouldn't be earning a penny, and that no one should buy mine diamonds. Diamonds industry is a scam. Yes but change fake diamonds to lab-created and I agree. You can get some really neat colors with lab-created. I have a really lovely green diamond that would be astronomically expensive if natural but it was a couple hundred for two 0.25 carat round cut diamonds. Fact, the gold ring is harder to replace than the diamonds, real or fake. The value of diamonds is so inflated. Although I agree with the sentiment about not buying diamonds, a moissanite is not a fake diamond. It's a completely different gemstone all on its own. They were first discovered in a meteor and then later recreated in a lab to be used for jewelry. I actually told my boyfriend to buy a moissanite instead of a real diamond when he proposes, because I don't believe in wearing diamonds in principle. They are wildly overpriced by one company that fools us into believing they are more valuable than they actually are and usually a product of questionable practice. I'm good on that. Alternative stones are a good choice if you're proposing on a budget and your partner won't mind. But you're digging your own grave if you lie about it being a diamond, especially if your partner actually cares about that kind of shit. The specialized equipment jewelers use isn't all that hard to get either, depending on hobbies your average person may have something like it. I'm looking into getting something similar for coin collecting. This is cool so long as you don't lie about giving someone a fake diamond. It would be awkward as fuck for your SO to take it to a jeweler to get it insured or something only to be told is a cheap fake $75 ring lol. I like birthstones, personally. Amethyst is gorgeous. Not to mention the ethical conflict with earthmine diamonds. I work in jewelry and I can tell the difference between moissanite and a diamond almost immediately. Having said that, the entire engagement and bridal industry is a scam and diamonds were worthless until De Beers brainwashed people into thinking engagement rings were a big deal. It's all a stupid waste of money. So get a moissanite because it does the same job. Even lab-created sapphires are a good choice. Way cheaper than diamonds. Moissanite is ugly as fuck though but for the average person it all looks the same. They can be if a real diamond is outside of your budget. Just don't try to pass off moissanite a diamond and don't spend a shitload of money you don't have.
Honestly I found them pretty easy to tell them apart. Moissanite has this bright fiery bling bling quality that diamonds don't have. Some people like more some don't. I'm personally not a fan. Also lab diamonds are an excellent choice. They are chemically the same as a natural mine diamond and you don't have worry about African slaves when buying one. The only person that is going to care about the legitimacy of the diamond in an engagement ring is the person receiving the ring. When discussing this with a previous love interest I posed the question, would you rather have an expensive diamond or a down payment on a home? Her answer, big diamond, helped me make the decision that she was not the one. Dot. I bought cheap rings for my wife and I when we got engaged with the intention of getting more real ones after our wedding. We never got around to it, didn't care, and eventually just quit wearing the rings altogether after five years. They are just an inconvenience to be honest, especially since we both have hands-on jobs. Besides, it's pretty silly we still feel the need to abide by a nearly 80-year-old De Beers campaign. The smart choice is getting the ring she wants. If she is okay with artificial diamonds then go for it. If she wants traditional, and it is in your budget, that works too. At the end of the day she is the one wearing that on her finger, hopefully, the rest of her life, get her what she wants, within reason. I agree that engagement wedding rings shouldn't be so culturally standardized that young people go into debt just to follow a silly tradition. But I wouldn't try and pass a gem off as diamond unless it was diamond. Besides, there are plenty of other beautiful stones that don't cost an arm and a leg. So no, I don't think faking a diamond is okay, but I think deciding on a non-diamond ring is. Nah. Mosonite is useless. They don't even use child slaves to make them. Well. As long as you don't lie and tell her it's a real one. That would be asshole behavior. Bought my now wife a moissanite ring off eBay for like $300. It's a three-stone spectacular fiery thing. Took it to a jeweler to get the wedding band curved and made. He looked through his spyglass, looked up at me, I smiled, he looked again, and then looked at my fiancé. She knew it was a moissanite, is there something wrong? She said. I, uh. Said the jeweler. I know it's not a diamond. It's a moissanite. She said. Oh thank God. I didn't want to start something between you two. Wife and I don't wear rings and her engagement ring was a cheap one just for appearances for the family. We spent that money on other stuff and have zero regrets. I figured by the title you meant a lab diamond, but totally agree cause cost and personally think diamonds aren't even the most beautiful gem. People spend way too much money on engagement rings. I got my wife a ring with an opal instead of a diamond, way cheaper and way prettier to look at. My partner specifically wants a fake diamond, not only for the cost but also because so many diamonds are blooded and she would prefer not to buy into the market. So a fake rock is cheaper and guilt-free. My wife has zero diamonds. Still married after a couple decades. ULPT, swap out your wife's diamond for the moissanite and then sell the stone, tell her you won a small lottery prize smiling face with sunglasses. I agree and would prefer moissanite for my own ring. The only caveat I would give is that the ring giver should not misrepresent what the stone is to the person they are giving the ring to. Synthetic gems are also a great option. I specifically asked for a lab-created sapphire. A fraction of the price and nobody got killed for it. The market for diamonds is complete bullshit, they're very common and are just stockpiled, so they only let some out at a time to keep the price way up. The whole diamond thing is ridiculous if we're being honest. People are simply not going to pull your hand up to their face to closely examine your ring, and they are definitely not going to have specialized tools just in their pocket. Unless you're my mother, who literally pulled out her loop and examined my cousin's engagement ring with it. But, my mother is a special kind of crazy. Shrug hashtag hash. No, get the kind of stone your partner wants. If they want a diamond, get them a diamond, if they want something non-traditional like a pearl or an opal then get them that. 
If they want a non-diamond lookalike that's fine, but don't let them think a moissanite is a diamond.